So Australia 25, Wales 16. The better side won, I think that's for sure, although Wales kept it close. They will have learnt a lot, definitely the young players will. I wouldn't say they look like winning, but can they do a bit more in the second test? For Australia, they've got back on the horse, if you like, after the World Cup, where they were just all over the place. They know what they're trying to do here, as you'd expect from a Joe Smith side. Nicely organised, they looked like they were really getting going in the first half, and then just fell off a bit in the second half, and Wales came back, but finished fairly well. Some early signs of good kicking from Ben Thomas, who nailed all his penalties. That was good. First one down the middle, 0-3 after a minute. Noah Lolisio had a mixed bag, some nice tactical kicking, some good attacking play, but his kicking a goal wasn't very good. He's replacing Carter Gordon, who was the World Cup fly half, who now has abandoned Australian Rugby Union altogether to go to league. So a little bit weird there. Lolisio, not so sure he's going to retain his spot. Tom Liner came on and looked very assured. Obviously, another son of Michael Liner there. So it's 3 all, a penalty from Lolisio in the end. Uh, Jake Gordon did pretty well. He's a good kicking nine, definitely getting the ball away fairly sharpish. Some half breaks, although not lightning. But Wales, they want to run the ball. Thomas, though, throws their first good attack straight into touch. In contrast to Australia, who really hit the ground running with their attack. Very accurate, good handling, nice and crisp. It was looking nice, but a horrible miss penalty from Lolisio from close range. Now, a little bit of a, a similar situation to Marcus Smith for England. Lolisio, a good attacking player, but goal kicking, not really. They're trying to chip over the top. They're getting a little bit of joy there, but there's a bad drop there from Lolisio, who drops it cold uh, for his second clanger of the game. In the preview show, I said the Welsh front row I'm really worried about, and indeed, they really struggled in that scrum all game. They struggled a bit in the line out as well, so not a great set piece going over so they get obliterated in the first scrum I think from Slipper and Tupu and that's a penalty straight away 6-3 they're starting to leak penalties are Wales and Australia are getting long phases of attack nice and accurate they know where they're going and Wales can't stop them on the gain line they're slipping into yellow card territory because of the number of penalties they're giving away and indeed that's what happened they're just not giving them a sniff on the clear outs spot on from Australia Tupu big carry Valentini big carry and Tupu again just a power over really clinical stuff 13-3 and indeed the yellow card comes for Gareth Thomas so just when it looks like Australia are getting on top Wales come back Three penalties in a row from Australia this time. And Wales turn down three points, a big call. But they get a load of chances from the line-out. Uh, Maul looking dangerous and they go over on the second attempt. Their penalty try and a yellow card straight back to Fraser McWright. So that was a big turning moment, a vital response for sure. But again, struggling in the line-out. They couldn't keep that momentum going. Definitely Australia get back into retaining the ball, but they can't break the line. A terrible drop cold catch from Ellis Bevan, though, gifts a penalty chance to Australia, but the Welsh defence is good. So 13-10 at half-time, Wales hanging tough. And Wales open the second half with their best attacking flow, really. An offload, a five-metre scrum, but disappointing when Wales break blind. Wainwright feeds Hathaway, who decides to go on the outside and gets pushed into touch by Dangunu just too easily. But on the next phase of play, some good lines from Lake and Wainwright, who were their go-to ball carriers. Penalty for not rolling away. 13 or better start for Wales. They're in the game. Schwinn's are showing some good strength. He's definitely beefed up, hasn't he? They're definitely trying to play, but they're struggling to stop Australia making gain line when they attack. And then the best play of the game, Dangunu loops all the way around behind the attack from the left, to the right, he's run so far, he actually runs out of steam when he finally gets through the gap and Grady does well to catch him, but just the momentum on the wet surface sees him slide over, so a little unfortunate for Wales, but they got caught out by that play. 18-13, big score for Australia there, and it's just going backwards and forwards now. It really is quite tight at this point. It looks like Botham's first touch is a try, but unfortunate, it's obstruction. That mall, a definite weapon for Wales. That could have been a turning point as well. And then it swings back to Australia. Schwinzer plays the scrum half. Ben Thomas, though, kicks a really good goal from 35 metres. So it goes 18-16. Australia looking fairly good at times, but then dropping the ball in good positions, which they weren't doing in the first half. And then the killer moment, Tom Wright gets it right as he just simply burns Tompkins for pace. 
is a bad look for Tomkins. Many of you in the comments say Tomkins shouldn't be playing for Wales and this will probably keep those calls coming because that was nasty and it literally costs uh, Wales the game, you'd say, as he rounds Grady as well, nearly trips himself up, but a wonder score from Wright and a great conversion from Tom Liner, 25-16. With a little over 10 minutes to go, Hardy and Costello are on to try and make something happen and they do, to be honest. They pick up the pace, really trying to work the ball around. Costello taking the ball to the line that was a certain pickup in pace and Australia are defending for the last 10 minutes of the game but they do actually defend really well very disciplined and see out that game 25-16 so Australia deserved winners some good signs for Wales there a good maul Schwinzer's looking really powerful Costello when he came on Wainwright was carrying well Lake was carrying well yeah a few good signs kicking from Thomas but all in all, these are two sides who aren't quite top tier at the moment and Wales definitely looking second best. Can they do something to turn it around? I'm not so sure they're going to be able to on this tour. Let me know what you thought about that game down below. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. That would be amazing. And I'll catch you next time.